All right, so in the last lecture, you learned that how you can set up and run your Express server. And in this lecture, I'm going to show you that how you can set up uh, a Hello World page in Mustache. All right, now Mustache is called a templating engine. Um, and there are many other EJS uh, handlebars. But once you learn Mustache, uh, jumping onto any other templating engine would be, well, much easier. All right, so all of them are pretty much alike. Even if you go to a very different language like Python or Swift or, or whatever, you're going to see that there's a lot of similarities between them. Um, the first thing I need to do is obviously I need to install the Mustache Express package. And that I will do from the terminal. I will say int npm install Mustache Express. Dash dash save simply means that I'm going to, oops, I'm going to save this particular uh, ac the package into my package.json file so other people when they have to install the packages they just have to say npm install and that's pretty much it all right so let's go ahead and install that let's jump over here and see and you can see that mustache express is actually installed the package and we already have express from the last lecture um, now, now let's go ahead and see how we can actually use that. So the first thing would be constant mustache express equals to require mustache express. All right, so we have mustache express. Next, what we need to do is we need to set some sort of a configurations to tell our express, which is this one, that we will be using Mustache as our templating engine to create server-side pages. So app.engine and Mustache, that's the name of our engine that we're using, and Mustache Express, we're going to initialize it. This is more of an initialization code or configuration code, so it will remain the same uh, no matter how many applications you're writing using Mustache. App.set views this has to be called views by the way you cannot call this anything else basically this is a key that you're setting that where your views live and the key is called views this however the next part is up to you you can say that your views will be in a directory called trips that's fine just make sure that you have a directory called trips i'm just going to call it views views is another name for pages so web pages views same thing currently i don't really have this directory i'm going to make that later on app dot set and now view engine i'm going to set the view engine and i'm going to tell it that it's going to be mustache so basically my pages extension will be mustache and that's uh, that's pretty much it to set up the mustache uh, templating engine I have to make sure obviously that I have views folder, which I don't. So let's go ahead and create a new folder, not new file, but a new folder. And I will call this uh, views, obviously. Here we go. Inside views, you will create, well, your pages. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to list all the trips. So maybe there's an index page, which lists all the trips. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a page index.mustache. Obviously the page name is up to you. It should have a mustache extension because that's the templating engine we're using. And once you create your page, it's completely up to you. Like it's basically HTML. So let's go ahead and type some HTML. HTML and HTML body body and we can call it index, that's it. It's a good idea to just place index in the page just to make sure that that page is getting rendered or not. I'm gonna to go to my app. So now basically what I want is that if I go to the root URL, which is root URL, localhost 3000, instead of saying hello world, it should show me this particular page that we just created. Although this page simply has nothing in it, but I want to see this page. Now, this is completely up to you what you want to call this page uh, and what you want to put in the page. That's completely up to you. 
Okay, so response.send is simply going to send this string, hello world, back to the client. So if you want to see what happens right now, I'm going to go ahead and save it and run my server. And now I'm going to go to the root URL. This is a root URL. And it says hello world, which is fine, which is this one. But I don't want to see hello world as a string. I want to see my page, this page that I just created. So it's pretty simple. You just have to say render. That is a uh, function on the response object. And then the name of then the name of the page you want to render, which in this case is just a name, index, which is this page right here. Now you might be wondering, okay, hold on a second, how does it actually even know that the page is inside a views directory? Look at line number seven. It's actually you're telling it that my views will be inside a views directory. So that's how it knows. You don't really have to say index dot mustache just name is enough it already knows it will be mustache because you're doing it on line number eight all right let's go ahead and refresh the page and now we have the index page this is the actual page which is this one and if you don't trust me i can actually go ahead and say something over here this is a mustache page all right now since i edited my mustache file i have to actually restart my server i can simply say rs to restart and now i can refresh and this is a mustache page all right this is great but currently our page is kind of well kind of static it doesn't really have any data coming from the server let's go to this page and say hello John. Again, I will have to go and restart the server, refresh the page. It says hello John. That's fine. Hello John is fine. But I want to pass in something. I want to make this dynamic, meaning I want to say maybe hello John, but I also want to say hello something else. So how can I do that? So let's go to our app.js. The great thing about using the render and using the server side pages is that you can actually send in the data that you want to display in those pages. And if you want to send in data, you just have to pass it as a next parameter or next argument as an object. So I'm gonna say my data name will be name or full name, whatever you want to call it, name. And the value is Mary. All right. This means that now I'm passing this particular object to this particular page and I can access this object using the name of the key or using the key which is name and I can get this value out. So let's go to index. If I want to say hello something, I'm just going to use the same exact key that I used over here, the name key and the name will be injected over here. So that is the whole point of server-side pages, right? You are doing something on the server, maybe you're gonna get this data from the database and you need to pass it to the mustache page. You pass it as a second argument and you access it and you inject it into the page kind of like this. So let's go ahead and refresh or reset our reset our uh, server and now you can see it's saying Mary Doe. If I go ahead over here and if I pass in Steve Doe, you can see it's now passing Steve Doe. All right. Okay, so here's something that you should do. Uh, this is your activity, your, uh, your assignment. Right now I'm passing index and I'm passing name, that's fine. And if I go over here, I'm gonna say, hello, Mary Doe or John Doe or Steve Doe, and my age is 33. I want this to be dynamic, meaning I should be able to pass this from the server. How can I do that? 
just like the name that we are passing over here, how can I pass in the age and inject it right at this spot? So that is your activity. How would you do it? 